Hi everyone, Miss Cahill here. Today I am going to show you how to manually put your Google document into MLA format. The reason I'm showing you how to do it manually is because there might be times where you have to put your document into another kind of format and it might not be super obvious. This is just a basic technological literacy skill and I'm using MLA as the tool. There is a quicker way to do the MLA thing, but my advice is to learn this way. I will link to the quicker way in this YouTube video, but for now we are gonna get into the tutorial for how to put it into MLA format. So the first thing you are going to do is press the three dots and you're gonna make sure that print layout is toggled on. The reason for that is because you need to have it in print layout in order to see whether or not you have a page number. Speaking of, now we have to enter the page number. So in MLA, you want the page number to be your last name and the page number. Now, doing it this way will help it populate automatically. I'll show you what I mean. So first you're gonna press the plus sign, and then you're gonna scroll down to page number. You'll select that, and you'll see four icons here. In MLA, you want the page number to be in the top right side of the page, so you're going to select that icon. As you can see, the number one came up right away. Now, in MLA, you need to have your last name in front of the page number. So I'm gonna take my cursor, that's that blinking line after the one, and I'm gonna move it in front of the one. Then, I'm gonna type my last name and put a space. So that's C-A-H-I-L-L space. I have to make sure that it's in Times New Roman 12 point, so I'm going to select the entire thing, and I'm going to press this A paragraph button. So I'll press that. I'll make it 12 point size, and then you do that by pressing the arrow right there, and then you go to font, and you scroll down the list, and you find Times New Roman, and then you go back. Now, every single page will have your last name and the page number on it. Next, what you need to do is put the header in. So sometimes students will do this thing where they stay inside this part and they write their header. You don't wanna do that because then it shows up on every single page. So make it so that the cursor is outside of the header. Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically translate the font, so you have to change it again. But it's the same process. So go to font. Times New Roman, 12 point. The other thing you need in an MLA paper is for it to be double spaced. So you're gonna select paragraph, and then you're gonna go to line spacing and press the arrow up until it says 2.00. So that's how you change the font, the size, and the spacing. So now you need to put the proper information. I'm going to pretend that I'm in Miss Harden's English class for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to write my first and last name. I'm going to write my pretend instructor's name, which is Miss Harden. In your case, you would put your actual teacher's name. You're going to put the name of the class. I'm going to put English 2 for that. And then you're gonna put the due date. So I'm gonna to pretend today is the due date and I am recording this on January 15th, 2020. So you're actually gonna put this in date, month, year format, which is actually what it looks like in Europe, funnily enough. So you'll do the date, which today is the 15th. Then you're gonna spell out January. You can't just put a one or a slash one or Jan period or anything like that. Just spell out January and then the year 2020. So I'm going to pretend that this is a synthesis paper that I wrote about Star Wars from a while ago. So I'm gonna write, um, let's see, what can my title be? Um, the New Direction of Disney's Star Wars. 
Um, so it's in the center, and I did italicize Star Wars because it's the name of a movie franchise, but you'll notice that otherwise I didn't do anything special with the title. I didn't make it bold. I didn't underline it. I didn't put it in a larger size font. All I did was put it in the middle, and I otherwise followed other MLA rules, particularly around titling Star Wars. Um, if I was just going to call this the new direction of Disney's movies, right... I wouldn't have that in italics. I would just write movies, and it would just look like that. But in my case, my paper was about Star Wars, so I'm going to keep Star Wars there. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to move back to the side, and then my paper would go over here. So that is how you create the header in MLA along with the page number. Last but certainly not least, let's pretend that this was an entire essay that I had, you know, five paragraphs or whatever. And now it's time for me to put my work cited in. You're going to put that in the center. This would be on like a final page and you would write works cited. So just like the title of the paper in MLA, you don't do anything fancy with works cited. You just write it 12 point Times New Roman. The only thing that's special is it's in the center. And then just like in the paper, you would put it left aligned again and you would put your first citation, which I'm going to not talk about how to make MLA citations for today. Um, that's a whole other video of it itself. So that's how you go about formatting a paper in MLA manually. I hope you found that informative, whether you're making an MLA paper or some other kind of paper. And I hope that that was helpful to you. Okay, thanks. Bye.